Vasbi, the centre will be holding talks with the Meite, Kuki and uh, Naga legislatures and MLAs in North Block, New Delhi tomorrow. It's been seen as, as the biggest peacemaking initiative since the ethnic riots broke out last May. Big, 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 big uh, breaking story, Vasbi. Your take on this? Yes, Amrita, this is the big breaking development at this point in time as far as the crisis in Manipur is concerned. Yes, uh, as we have been saying, this is the biggest peace initiative that the central government has undertaken to restore peace and normality in Manipur uh, when it has invited uh, legislators uh, belonging to the Mete, Kuki and Naga uh, tribes, communities and all the MLAs, uh, most of the MLAs representing the Metes, Kukis and Nagas will be attending this meeting that will be held at the North Block which is the headquarters of the Union Ministry of Home Affairs in New Delhi and these talks will be held under the direct supervision of Union Home Minister Amit Shah. So therefore this is a very very crucial meeting and let me tell you that this is for the first time that the Kuki and Mete MLAs uh, will be sitting face to face across uh, the table. Now, there are 10 cookies or MLAs, and let me tell you that these 10 cookies or MLAs that includes at least two ministers, they have not set foot in the Imphal Valley ever since the violence broke out on the 3rd of May last year. That means these 10 cookie Joe legislators in the 60 member Manipur Assembly, they have not attended any Manipur Assembly session uh, during the last 16 months that the state has been rocked by this violence. Therefore, uh, this is initiative is uh, going to uh, is seen as something which is extremely significant that is going to bring the uh, representatives of the classing communities face to face together. Now, as we have been reporting yesterday, that the central government has been taking silent initiative uh, to restore peace in Manipur. And this, of course, now it has come to light that this is the first open initiative by the central government to restore peace in the state. It starts with a meeting of the legislators. There are several ministers uh, from the major side. The speaker, Taksam Satyabrata, is going to attend. Rajesh Shyam is going to attend. Uh, there is Biswajit is going to attend. So these are the, some of the names uh, that Notice Life has, uh, uh, has obtained. And as I said, uh, as we have been saying uh, from the cookie side, it will be Paul and Hawkip, Let's Paul Hawkip, and others, and Mr. Awangbai Numa, Awangbo Numai, and others will be representing the Naga legislators in, in this daily meeting. Now, what we are getting to know that this could be the beginning, and after this, the Central may initiate talks with the civil society groups belonging to all the three major communities in the state, that is the Metis, Kukis, and the Naga. So on the whole, it's a very big initiative, and the first uh, open initiative taken by the central government uh, by bringing representatives of the two sides together, first of all, to trace out and discuss how peace can be restored. That will be the only and only motive for these talks that will be held at the North Block in New Delhi tomorrow. And as we have been reporting, some many of the legislators have already arrived in New Delhi, and some of the legislators have been camping in New Delhi for several, several months now. And yesterday, uh, uh, Chief Minister Birin Singh held a meeting with some of the legislators who will be attending this meeting in New Delhi tomorrow. We don't know the details of what uh, uh, was the brief given to these MLAs by Chief Minister Birin Singh, if at all. Uh, and on the whole, it's a very big peace initiative and a very big breaking story on Not His Life at this point in time. Absolutely. Vasbir, also significant here is uh, the fact that Home Minister Amit Shah, he will be uh, directly monitoring these crucial talks. He has, in fact, on early occasions visited uh, the troubled own state as, state as well. Now, it is very evident here, Vasbir, that this time the centre is very seriously uh, taking uh, the peace restoring initiative in Manipur, which is uh, very likely to further pave way for restoring permanent peace in the region, Vasbir. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, so ever since the violence started, you know, Home Minister Amit Shah has been personally monitoring the situation and has been in touch, in consultation with Prime Minister Narendra Modi several times. And during the last uh, few weeks, uh, uh, you know, Home Minister Amit Shah had held a major security review meeting uh, with all the top brass of the security establishment in the country, that includes the army, police, and the paramilitary, apart from the intelligence agencies in New Delhi. And later on, he, had, uh, he held, Amit Shah held a meeting with the governor of Manipur, the former governor of Manipur, actually, 
and and after that uh, he held the prime minister held a very very uh, uh, short meeting with uh, uh, chief minister Birain Singh and then uh, a couple of days ago the union home ministry invited the united naga council for talks on a different issue of course on the issue of re- rolling back the seven new districts that was created in manipur but that gave the indication that once the center has started talks with the umc it could follow suit with talking to the kuki and the mate community leaders as well so but that has not yet happened y- yet but what we have seen now is the invitation to the uh, mate kuki and naga legislators to come and attend this meeting in new delhi uh, so uh, the fact that union home minister is that we's going to be directly monitoring the situation and this meeting is going to be attended by top officials of the union ministry of home affairs uh, mr uh, uh in a more special advisor northeast in the ministry of home affairs uh, mr ak mishra is also likely to be presented this meeting apart from uh, top officials of the union home ministry and of course the intelligence bureau and other intelligence agencies because this meeting is going to be significant because uh, the central government cannot allow manipur uh, situation to state in a, to remain in a state of flux because it's a frontier state sharing porous borders with myanmar and the situation in myanmar itself is extremely extremely volatile so on it's going in taking all these things into account this is going to be a very very crucial meeting and could be the beginning of the end to the extremely uh, violent situation in manipur